Well, the 4th of July is almost here, and like every year, we're bringing you only the best in grilling recipes and a little entertainment to go along with it. I soon found out that if you want to turn a rainy day into one that's full of sunshine, all you have to do is pay a visit to the Clever Cleaver Brothers. Take a look. All right, guys, I'm back with my two good friends. Hi, Audra. Hi, everybody. I'm Lee. And I'm Stan. And together, we're the Clever Cleaver Brothers. A little damp outside? Just a little bit. Just a little. We had to break out the umbrella, but who cares? Fourth of July is coming up, so we got to get ready, That's right? That's right. We want everyone, rain or shine, get out there, fire up the grill, and cook up something good. Right, 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 right. So and we have a perfect recipe. What are we You're making? right. Yeah. Something Steve and I call Clever Cleaver Twisted Skirt <laughs> Steak. Come on, I like bye. that. So, do you Let's guys do that when you're making twist. them, too? You got to. All right. Little shake, little shake. You do all we're making it. Okay, I'll be over here. Start off with a beautiful piece of skirt steak. You okay. want to remove any of the excess fat or some of that silver skin, uh -huh. which makes it a little tough, and then flatten it out. Okay. Then on top of that, Audrey, we put some Italian sausage. Now, a little tip for you. Chef's clean hands are the best tool in the kitchen. Of course. Wet your hands. It makes right. it easy to spread the sausage, especially okay. if it's raining out. <laughs> Here we go. A little extra, extra precipitation. Yeah, just kind of roll it up like a cigar. Uh-huh. Now, Steve's going to cut into slices, but here's another tip for you. Put this in the freezer for about 15 minutes before you cut it, Audra. Mm -hmm. It makes it easy to slice. Oh. Now, Steve's a professional. He can cut anything, but, right. you know. Yeah, Matt, of course. But you'll see how it does push down. Exactly. If it was a little frozen, it would be nice and simple. Okay. Now, check this out. Steve's turning them over on their sides there. And wheels. We're going to season it now with one of our great seasoning blends. This is called Bombay Booster mm -hmm. from the Clever Cleaver Kitchen. One of five new seasoning blends that Steve and I have, powered by Red Monkey Foods. This now, is great. It's a kind of a, a combination of Asian spices and a little curry. Really? That gives it just that really little extra, extra boost. Okay, it's all right. Perfect. So you put it on both sides or just on one you side? You put it on both sides. But the first, put it on like that, then mm -hmm. put it on the grill. Okay. Put them over medium-high heat. Mm -hmm. You could use any kind of grill, coal, gas. We're uh -huh. using uh, electric in the rain. <laughs> 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 okay, you want to cook it for about five minutes or so on each side, folks. Depending on the thickness, depending on the heat of your, your grill, you make sure they're cooked all the way through. Now, Audra, yeah. when you flip the burgers over, you want to put some uh, uh, pineapple some slices? Onion, some red onion. You can see those okay. hidden inside there, some beauties. So you put those on the grill first, then you put grill them on the burger. Okay. That's right. Got then it. stack grill. them on top, Got put it. some cheese, and then start to melt them. That looks good. Awesome. And about how long would you leave these on, approximately, uh, on the grill? You know what? When you start to see clear juice come up, that's a great indication they're done. Okay, okay. Meat thermometer, know. 170, they're done all okay. the way. Okay, now you have a sauce here? We're going to make a sauce, Audra. You're right. We start off in our bowl with a little mayonnaise. Okay. A little mayonnaise. And now we're going to add some of the jalapeno hot sauce. Remember this. I remember this. Right. We're going to add about a tablespoon. Uh -huh. We've got a nice peppery flavor without too much heat. Okay. It's beautiful. Well, we love the jalapeno. We call this one the, the flavor fire. fire. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to add some ketchup, folks. And then I'm going to add a little chopped parsley. Put that right now, in. Now, is this enough sauce for, say, what, like six or eight burgers? Yeah, about eight burgers. About eight burgers? About eight okay. burgers. Okay. Great. Mix it up. It's quick. Nice okay. and easy. I'm going to put some uh, dollop of sauce on each of the buns here. Oh. I'm going to top these with a little twisted skirt steak. <laughs> put that right on top. That looks really good. This is really going to surprise your guests. Uh -huh. Wow, what a great idea. Yeah, now, Audra, Steve and I are the nose of the people chefs. We're going to show people things you can make. They're not only simple for you, but they're not going to break the bank. Exactly. This recipe is just like all the recipes in our new uh, recipe book called the Great Recession Recipe Book. 38 <laughs> great recipes packed full of fun photos uh -huh. and tongue-in-cheek names. But all the recipes are geared for a bulk item. So you can make make an entree and then have leftovers for a second That's dish. such a good idea, too. And you guys have some really funny names in here for a lot of the recipes. You had some fun with them at the oh, same time, right? Oh, we do. Of course. We name okay. names. We point our fingers at people that cause the recession. <laughs> If you want That's to get right. the cookbook, go to Amazon.com. Okay, and you even got some in there for about Bernie Madoff and Ponzi. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. yeah with a uh, Ponzi polenta with Italian sausage, <laughs> cut the pyramid shapes. <laughs> hey, but take again, take a look at our burgers again that you can make for Fourth of July. Right. As we say, there you have it, Clever Cleaver Twisted Skirt Steak.